What's going on everyone? Venom Steam 254 here. I just wanted to make a quick uh, response video to Trevor Brown on security not doing their job. <sighs> Here's the thing. I've been there. I've done that whole situation. I mean, I'm on the reefer division as well. It's just that there's some security personnel that just don't really care about their job. They don't. All they care about is collecting that paycheck and nothing else. They'll just say nothing. I'll give you a prime example. About a year ago, when I was with a different company, I've had to deal with uh, security that was basically just like just like that. All they cared about was picking up a paycheck, didn't give off the regulations. I mean, I showed up there an hour early for my appointment, and they just dragged on. And there was a huge line of people waiting for that, waiting to be unloaded at the guard shack. All these people were doing was just laying back, sitting around, and just chatting. It's annoying. And it's something that us drivers have to deal with. We either get that we either get security personnel and warehouse personnel that do their job correctly, do it efficiently, and do it professionally. And yet we sometimes get the ones that are just absolute bricks. It's a whole mixture. The ones that I have to deal with well, I had to deal with, like the one place I'm, I'm talking about, they were just sitting around chatting, didn't care. They'll just take the paperwork, sit back down and continue chatting. Or you get the ones that seem to act professional, but when something is wrong, go, goes wrong on their end, they like to try to twist it to make it your fault. It's like similar when I had to pick up the load for Campbell's Soup in uh, Ohio, I believe. And the biggest problem was that I was over gross by quite a lot. I believe I was like 81,000 plus. When I came back, <clears throat> I had a talk with them saying, hey, this happened, I was overweight, fix it they asked me they asked me where my tandems were uh, how's that gonna help because I'm over gross and that's what I said to them and they had the nerve to cop an attitude with me and say where is your what hole are your tandems at it's just like she went from a low tone from a normal voice to a uh, to a different tone of voice that had attitude in a that had an attitude and a bad temper on it on the other end. And for people who know me, you come at me with a bad attitude, I could switch from a nice guy to a complete jackass like that. My father knows about my temper, my mother knows about my temper, everyone in my family knows about my temper. I had to switch back and forth with this lady constantly so I could at least hopefully get unloaded but no she had the people inside only move a pallet one inch back that didn't help nothing So when that got done, I didn't know it. And when I got back to the scale, I didn't put the, the 
one thing I tried to do was say, I am not putting the seal on until this is fixed, yet they put the seal on anyway. So, I would say not only are they wasting time with their job, they were wasting material as far as a seal is concerned. Ooh, excuse me. And my former mentor had to deal with this exact same place previously, last year when I was with this company. And when I finally had enough of it, I said, look, you either fix this or I'm just gonna drop it on back on the yard and I'll have someone else deal with it. The only response I got was, well, if you're not gonna deal with it, we're just gonna put, we're just gonna have you arrested for trespassing. Bitch, you, I was hired to pick up this load and deliver it. I ain't your personal punching bag for verbal assault. You got it? I mean, I didn't really say that, but anyway. I contact my DM, they had a talk with him, and she went off on my dispatch with the same condescending attitude. I just found it absolutely ridiculous that you get these security personnel that either don't care, will just sit around and chat, or are just complete dicks. And so eventually, I had, I just went into the yard, dropped it, left. But that wasn't the end of it. I would say an hour later, they found out where I was, since I'm usually going to the Petro that was nearby, I get a right on my door. It was the cops. So I gave them my information. I told them what happened. I showed them the footage. And apparently they tried to have me arrested for trespassing. What happened to that security personnel? I don't know and I don't care. The end result was is that I was able to leave that place and not have to deal with them. I hope for never again because it's that's just ridiculous how they handle things in that Campbell suit. <coughs> but yeah, that's just the moral of this type of response. You always have to us drivers always have to deal with these type of people. You get security personnel that don't do their job, and when we cross into the into the facility, and we don't have the proper paperwork or our proper vests or whatever, they get mad at us, and we say, "Your security person, your security guard at the guard shack didn't tell us squat." How? Are how are we supposed to know your policies if we've never been there? And even if we've been to your facility multiple times, it's still the security's job to inform us if it stayed the same or there's new policies. That's just my take on it. But that's all I've got for that one. Please give me a thumbs up, like it, subscribe to me, follow me on Twitter, it's the same hashtag, well, at, uh, at VenomSting234 for all my latest stuff. Oh, and I'm also going to have an Instagram very soon, to, uh, so I'll have it as VenomSting234, I mean, that's my whole thing. But hopefully, truck around, I do hope you see this, because I want your take on things again and keep in touch because I get the whole free for mission. I've been doing it for uh, two years almost. I've done it. I've started it. I love it. This is
Benham State 284, shot signing off.